Welcome. This is part two of a video series on how to create a Weebly website. In the first video, you learned how to uh, open an account and kind of get things started for yourself. Today, what I want to do is I want to concentrate on these elements, the basic elements uh, of your tool palette, so that you can uh, get started right away, starting adding some elements and making it look the way you want to. Well, if you remember from last time, uh, we went ahead and just chose a template here, and that's we're going to call that our landing page. So the next thing that we're going to do is uh, build a couple of more pages um, so that you know how to get those done as well. Um, these basic tools here, the, the title and the text and the image and the gallery and all of this stuff, really have to do with adding some personality to your, to your website. Uh, but I want to look at these uh, pull-down menus. I'm not going to consider ourselves. We're not going to concern ourselves with a store and uh, other settings uh, pull-down menus. Currently, I'm on the build site, which means I can start dragging things onto it. But this is our landing site, and, and we've pretty much done what we wanted to do here for right now. Now, the next thing I want to do is I want to build another page. The landing page could be the introduction to your website. It could be about your website or about your business or whatever it might be. The, the next thing I want to do is uh, I want to kind of concentrate or focus on a particular area. For instance, my class right now is doing a study on, on um, plant cells, okay, just plant science in general. The first page could be about plant cells, for instance. So um, we could also, if you click on this um, pull-down menu, you can change, obviously, the, uh, the themes if you want. You can uh, change fonts. And, of course, we can change backgrounds as well. So do any kind of the personalization you want. But I, I'm going to go ahead and kind of leave it where it is. So let's get to pages. When you click on a page, you notice how the layout is. Um, we're going to call this uh, Plant Cells. And that's the next page that, that, that we're going to do. And I'm going to, I'm going to choose a header, a tall one, a short one. I kind of like the short ones. Um, for the uh, other pull-down menus, for the focus areas. The landing page, I like a big, tall um, a header. So I'm going to click on a short header. And then I want to make it public. Now, I could also uh, put a password or passcode on it so you can control who goes in and out. And then, of course, maybe specific uh, groups. But those uh, need um, basically uh, upgrade requirements. That means you have to pay. Uh, I think I believe the the payment for an upgrade is uh, sixty dollars per person, and then it kind of goes up from corporate and some other things. But I, I'm not one hundred percent sure. You can always look at the upgrade section on on the website. But I'm, we're going to leave it uh, public. Uh, that means um, anybody can see that, and you you can look at some of the advanced settings. Some of the advanced uh, settings you can put uh, HTML tags on it. You can get a, a put a page description on it if you like. I'm just going to leave it pretty basic for, uh, for right now. So once you uh, click on the the short header and you've kind of done everything else you wanted, you can also hide the page in, if you want to. But obviously, I want to uh, leave it. Uh, you're going to go ahead and click Save and Edit. So now what I have, you'll notice that. Each page now will start putting pull-down menus across the top. So you can start building that website to, to do things. So uh, what we're going to do on this uh, page is we're going to start uh, dragging in some elements. Now, I've got this part of it right here. So like, for instance, I'm going to need to put a title on this. So I'm going to drag this into, into my page. Now, it's going to set right on top of it. And... Um, this has to do, let's let's call it, if it's going to be a plant cells, let's talk about uh, plant organelles. So now I've got uh, a heading on that. And, of course, you can change that up. Uh, let's say I can go, go to bold. I can get a title size. I can, I, don't know, I can make it larger or I can make it smaller. Whoops, i got to highlight it, I suppose. And then we got to get it smaller. Uh, you can change the color on it just like that. I'm going to make it a little bit bigger. Also, you can center it in the page if you like, but I like mine over here on. I like it uh, left justified. Okay, now uh, let's just take a look at how we can change my header. So here, we're going to put uh, plant science. And uh, what what we can do next is we can ac actually edit the, the image. So I'm going to click on that image. Now, if you want to click a background, you can, but I'm not going to do that. 
Well, we can upgrade this. Let's, let's do that. Let's get it out, out of here. Because then again, some pretty nice uh, pictures. And here's some planty kinds of stuff. And that look, that kind of uh, matches well with our kind of Mediterranean background colors. So I'm going to select that. And I'm going to click Save. And we only want to save it to this page. We don't want to save it anywhere else. Not to all pages, just to this particular page. And there we have it. So we've looked at the title. Now, if you want to add some small text, like, for instance, a uh, let's say we want to put a caption underneath there. And um, we're going to say something like, uh, you can see... You can see uh, the chloroplast clearly. And you can say something about cell walls or what have you. So you can use the text, uh, like for instance there, or you can put like maybe uh, an, another explanation here. So, so we've got the text taken care of in that. Now let's move down over to here. Let's say we want to make this four. Um, a breast with, with pictures. You can take an image and you put it right there. Now, the, the problem with that when you do that, you also change up some of the, um, the spacing between them. So again, what you can do is you can slide like, like a text right. Let's see, there we go. Slide the text there, another text, and then you can slide another text right there. So you can uh, keep changing things up a little bit and kind of um, kind of doing your own thing. I don't like the way that looks, so I'm going to delete that. Um, I don't like the picture there. I'm going to delete that. And I'm going to, there we go, and click this here and get rid of that. So that's how you can delete things. So you can bring uh, in another image if you like. Let's try over here. Yeah, actually, you can put one right there, and that will change. There you go. So we can click an image. And we're going to bring it up from the, our computer. And it's going to be from our desktop. And let's bring up another picture of chloroplasts. There we go. There's something a little bigger. We can change the size of it if we want. And bring in some of the, the text. Now, the other thing we can do with that, we can turn on a, a, what we call a light box. Oops, there we go. And when you click on it, it actually enlarges it. So that's kind of a really nice feature to have as well. So those are just some of the things that we can do. I'm not going to show everything because uh, I, I think a lot of you can uh, do a little bit of exploring. But for this particular video, I just wanted to stay with the basic things. Um, we talked about the text. We talked about uh, the title page. We talked about the drop-down menus. Um, the only one that's really kind of difficult is this, this embed code. When you want to like incorporate a like a website or HTML code, you can put that in there, and you can also do like Google Forms uh, embedded in there, so you don't have to actually leave your website. Uh, my next video is going to be on structure and also the media um, for bringing in like say YouTube videos or uh, some uh, other uh, videos that you can store on your computer as well. So that's it for right now. I hope this has helped you figure out how to put down text and also some media like images. All right, we'll see you later. Thanks. Bye.